some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video... Christopher Cordova of Denver Metro Audits considers his future and looks back on his past to determine the new path of Denver Metro Audits. Because, you know, being arrested is exhausting. Kind of makes you feel sorry for the guy. Not! So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So... Let's talk about the future of the DMA channel because um, here's the thing, guys, is that I'm I'm stressed out. I am like overwhelmed. Um, I have a lot of stuff going on, and, and you guys remember that on um, the last time I got arrested with the Social Security Administration, I took some time off. Um, thank you, Sweet Tea, for doing that. I took some time off. Uh, I only took like a couple weeks off. But just, you know, and I was still doing some stuff, but um, I just needed to decompress. Oh, yeah, I remember that one, all right. Sitting in the back of that cop car crying for your mama to bring you warm milk and cookies. Maybe you should consider a line of work that doesn't involve getting put in the back of a squad car. And it's the same thing with this one, guys. It's like um, getting arrested. I'm just, once you get arrested, I mean, it's a whole other ball game. It's not just the typical activism like now i'm on the phone with attorneys i'm trying to get my stuff back it's like it's just i'm dealing with court dates i got court coming up on friday and then, so now i'm dealing with two cases so i just need to decompress guys so i'm going to take a little bit of time off i'm thinking like two weeks um maybe a month max but definitely not more than that so i'm 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 still going to be on youtube and stuff which i'm not completely abandoning everything. I know I still have some, you know, responsibilities, um, obligations to my members. So I still have uh, one video in the bank that I'm going to be releasing. It's this one, if you guys remember. So let's do this side. You're going to need two weeks to a month to decompress from what? Being in jail for a couple hours? Try working a real job where your decompression time may be as low as 10 hours or maybe less than that i had a friend who worked at a waffle house for a couple years and worked triple shifts all the time and had less than four hours between shifts but you wouldn't know about real work now would you i think it's this side at this side it's this side right here you guys remember this one the bullet that's a bullet hole guys went through the hood of my hoodie while i was driving happened four years ago so i'm going to be releasing that video it was a nightmare to get my hoodie back out of evidence um so I still have that one coming, so I'm still going to do an early release for my members. All my members get um, access to my early release ones, so you guys will get to see that one. And then I have, you know, I have one video that's ready to go for just the members only, which is my silver and higher. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to probably just edit up some more, you know, members only stuff too. And, I, and again, guys, I'm still going to be active. I still I have an update. That I think I'm going to do next Wednesday. I'm going to create it after this. Why would anybody want to pay to see your punk ass whiny crybaby content? I know I wouldn't because I've got better things to do with my money. Um, so I'm still going to be doing some stuff. I just need to decompress, guys, because here's the thing. Is that like I, I'm scared. Okay, like um, I did some audits last week and... I was not comfortable because you know me guys i i always take the arrest now don't get me wrong i have left under threat of arrest before because of chief judge's orders i will not challenge those because that's just a rabbit hole that i am not prepared to go down because i don't have fifty thousand to throw at something like that so i have back down on those but I, I usually don't even try to even go into a courtroom or not a courtroom courthouse if they have those i just will avoid it but I take the arrest guys. And so now that I have two cases, it's like, 
it's traumatizing, guys. I'm in the same boat as, as a Regan is now, right? Oh, poor little frauditor. Didn't understand that there were consequences for your actions. You know what? I think I'll play some violin music from this point on because you are so sad. And a sad man like you deserves the world's saddest and smallest violin. Um, who's dealing with a bunch of cases. She, she can't just keep getting arrested. It doesn't do us any good to just pile up arrest after arrest, right? So, but, but I don't like to not take the arrest, so I just I have to get my head straight. Um, and decompress, guys. And, uh, you know, this last time going to jail, because I've been in jail before, but it's been, like, over ten years since I was been in jail. I've been, you know, I had some trouble in my youth and stuff, and I've been to jail a bunch of times, but um, this is the first time I went to jail for my activism. I've been clean with the law for over a decade, guys. You haven't been in trouble with the law for over ten years. Whoopity freaking do. I've never even set foot in a jail, nor have I ever been in trouble with the law, as with most of the people in this country. Uh, but I st obviously still engage in civil disobedience. And so, um, but it's traumatizing. I mean, guys, I don't know if you've ever been to jail, but um, if you want to know what it's like to go into the Arapahoe County Jail, at least when you first get there, like when you get to your, your holding cell, it's terrible. And then when you get to your um, intake pod, it's a little bit better, but it's still bad. And then when you get to your actual pod, it's better, but it's still bad because they actually have three people per cell now. So they, they, they had so many people in Arapahoe County that they were having people sleep on the floor. So instead of like stopping arresting people for victimless crimes, um, they just put three man bunks in there. So it's like sardines, man. You can't even sit up on your bunk. You're like, it's like claustrophobic. And um, there's three people that basically live in a bathroom. That's what jail's like, guys. You live in a bathroom. Jail and prison are not meant to be fun. In fact, if you want perspective on what it's actually like in prison, I mean real prison, why don't you check out the After Prison show by Joe Guerrero? He'll tell you. So take your bathroom and take the tub and just take the tub completely out and put a bunk bed there with three bunks. And then you have your toilet and your seat there. That's what it's like to be in jail. And depending on what your classification is, you'll be out in the pod and stuff. But sometimes you're just in there, guys. I've been in 23 and 1, which means 23 hours in your cell and one hour out. It's torture. Go to the most disgusting 7-Eleven bathroom that you can find with, like, shit on the seat. And, like, you would never even dream of sitting on that toilet seat. And just don't bring your cell phone in there. And just hang out in there for, like, five hours. I think that's about how long I was in there. Sometimes people are in there for longer. Just hang out in there, guys, with no reading material, nothing. That's what it's like to be in jail. It's inhumane, especially for me. I didn't break the law. I challenged an unconstitutional, it's not even a law. It was an administrative order. Well, now, there you go. He's just going to take a little bit of time off month at the very most while he contemplates his existence on YouTube. He'll probably be back. You know how these guys are. They've got such a large ego. They've got to please their audiences. They've got to make sure that they're still relevant. <laughs>